We're now here at one of Deep Trekker's lake testing facilities, and I'm going to be quickly running you through some of our different ROVs we're often deploying for search and recovery operations, and some of the different options that might impact your team. So we have three swimming vehicles here at Deep Trekker, the first of which is our DTG3 here on my left. As you can see, this is a very small, portable system. It fits inside this one Pelican carrying case and can be set up and deployed in just a couple of seconds and is a really amazing tool for small inland lakes with not a lot of current. Now, moving on to our pivot here, this is a big step up in terms of capabilities. It has a suite more of intelligence, autonomy, and can have advanced attachments like USB-L positioning and DVL station holding. The revolution here on my right is our most powerful ROV. This deals with the most amount of current and can have the most attachments put on board. Now, like we've been talking about, Deep Trekker is really known for their versatility and how we can set up these ROVs to cater to different teams. We have battery and direct power options available, a suite of different multi-beam imaging sonars, as well as different positioning systems and levels of autonomy to suit every person's need. Each of these ROVs can have the same cameras, the same sonars, and many of the same sensors available for each unit. It's just that package that's driving those different tools around. So the questions you really need to ask are, how deep do I need to go? What sensors do I need on board to make this mission successful? As well as the current that I'm gonna be operating in is really gonna determine which one of these ROVs is gonna be best for you.